it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble. So, today we are looking at another lawyer player, Francesco Totti. Now, a lot of you would have seen my previous Totti review, but uh, I would think that the upgrade for this LP version as compared to the previous version is pretty drastic and that's why I've decided to do another Totti review. So let's start by looking at his stats first. I like Totti because he has a good height to him, okay, and good weight. But generally, I haven't been using Cam for a long time already because I prefer to use two CMs for more stability in the midfield. You know, like your center midfielder, they have more defensive duties as compared to a Cam who is mainly focused purely for attacking. But that is just me. So if you like to use Cam, here is Totti, all right? So it's got good height and good weight to him. This Totti is a bit ridiculous, like he's very fast. 85 sprint, 87 acceleration. And then he's got very good acceler uh, agility as well. 87 dribbling, ball control expected, very good. Short passing at 91, although even with short passing 20, I'm sure he can make good short passes. Finishing 85, long ball. Positioning is 86 and vision is 92. And our reaction is a bit slow. But generally, I think reaction is not very obvious in the game uh, situation. Unless you're talking about like rebounds and stuff. Another thing that I would like to point out is his balance. 87 balance is very, very good. Okay. And uh, what else can we talk about? His crossing is also decent. So in the event that he ends up on the wings, at least we've got 80 crossing for him. His area ability seems to be suspect because he's only got 78 jump and uh, 75 heading. Basically the only two below 80 stats. Attacking stats of course. And uh, his interception is ridiculous. 34. Tackling. I remember his tackling is hideous. Yeah. 23 tackling. Okay. 23. Marking is 48. Now let's look at his traits. Now his style, he's got 11 of them. Midfield master, goal master, playmaker, crosser, dribble master, sniper, free kick, target man, finisher, acrobatic wing player. Basically, whatever you think you need in a camp, he has it. A work rate is mid mid. Okay, so I would think mid mid for a camp means that he don't push us up too much into the striker position as well as he don't come back too much. Like a number 10. Traits. This is the one that will affect his ability, so he's got a lot of traits. He's a diver, solid player, a skill move king, and long shot specialist for a sniper, and then he's a playmaker as well, and a ball passer. I guess with a ball passer trait means that his passes are more accurate, so to speak. Price currently is about 130 million. It went down to about 79 million a few days ago, but currently 130 million, okay? So let's now go over to the in-game analysis. First thing I noticed, right, is actually his balance. Like, I'm quite surprised that he does not fall down so easily. I mean, his balance is not bad, 87. But it's not like 90 plus like Neymar or Suarez, you know, like 87. But then he doesn't fall down at all. Like, there are so many instances whereby he took damage from defenders, but he still stay up and have the ball. So that is something that really surprised me all right next is his pace now i'm using a plus one lp potty i'll be with a bit of boost here and there lah, but generally i i'm quite surprised also at that he can outpace certain players you know of course we are not talking about like village for dinner decently paced players he was able to outpace them so imagine if you have the upgraded ones if you've got very good stuff all your growth points he's going to be even faster so pace is definitely something that he has in his locker his dribbling ball control agility and balance combine to make him a really really good dribbler with the ball for example like in my highlights you can see that I, I can take the ball with him and I can dribble past two or three players, you know, and I can stop start dribble very, very well because of his high acceleration. Now, as you guys know, the stop start dribbling has been something that I've picked up from Jaren, and uh, it's been an important part of my repertoire ever since. His passing is generally good, like all other players, but I do realize that some of his long passes are extra nice. Like, there was, I think, one instance whereby I made a long, low through pass, and it went across two center defenders to my strikers for him to score like even i was surprised and shocked by that particular pass you know i'm not sure whether that ball passer tricked him to play for that but his long long through ball as well as uh, the high and the low ones are generally better i would think lastly is uh i would say his attacking sense this is something i think is very subjective like to some people you might not feel it to me i felt it 
is that he seemed to have better attacking sense compared to camps like Tony Cruz, Steven Gerrard, you know what I mean? Like he really behaves like a 3 quest star in game, you know? The number 10 that doesn't really play like a striker, he's not a full midfielder as well, floating in between the lines, that kind of play. You can feel that culturedness in them, like, so to speak, okay? Whereas if you talk about player like Steven Gerrard, you can also feel that he's like a battering ram, you know, a hardcore English camp. So if you're looking for someone with a bit of culture and personality in him, then yeah, Forty is the one to go for. Last thing is his 5-star skill. So 5-star skills means scope mania. So basically with his 5-star skill, you can scope until you're happy, alright? Now let's go on to weakness. There's only one and I'm nitpicking to be honest. Uh, his defensive ability. His tackling is atrocious to be honest. 23 tackling and he can't tackle to save his mother. I'm quite sure of this. He cannot tackle to save anyone. So if you are putting him in camp and sometimes you want him to drop back deep to help out in defense, don't expect him to help you much. Okay, he is better to be up there like Maybe in defense he might become a liability. You know, so like, you know what I'm trying to say. So that is his main weakness. But for a camp, you generally don't want them to defend so much. So that might not be a big issue. So overall, strictly from a camp point of view, Totti is 10-10, the perfect camp. There is no better camp currently in the game because he's got good height, good weight, good aggression, passing ability, scoring ability, he's got everything for a camp, okay? He's even better than Kaka in my opinion because Kaka is a bit soft, you know, a bit of a softy. People can bully him here and there a little bit more. Totti, no way. High aggression, he is the one doing the bullying most of the, uh, most of the time, okay? And uh, lastly, is he worth it? At 130 million, I would say yes. Not very pricey for someone of his quality if you are using a camp then you probably should buy him. I think there's a plus 5 LP Totti by somebody. I think it's Suzuki selling him. So if you want, you can buy it from him. Probably the best ready camp. But if you are buying him and thinking of fitting him into a CM position, I would say no, don't even think about it because of his ridiculously bad tackling, okay? So if you want to buy him purely, use, it, use him as camp and that's it. And that is all I have for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this review video. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you next time.